Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I achieve this simple and easy closure install. Now the hair that I'm using is from my own personal hair company and it is Snapback Bundle. Now I did go ahead and list all the products that I use on screen, but if you have a hard time finding it, it is listed within the bio. Now starting out, I did go ahead and use an HD wig cap. I like these caps a lot better just because you're able to see your hairline. Now I did go ahead and slick my edges back off camera before I place the wig cap on my head. Now you want to make sure you do slick back your edges so that way when you take down your hair, it does not come out. Now I'm going in with my closure here and I'm just making sure I have it lined up correctly so that way when I go and glue it down, it's exactly where I want it to be. I always make sure that I mark where the end of my closure is. Sometimes you can get glue past where your lace ends. That's not what you want. You want to make sure that the glue and the closure line up exactly the same. Once you've figured out where you want to place your lace, you're going to go in with the adhesive. Now, typically I use Eben. This is a lot less messier than other glues. So I'm going to go in with this glue adhesive and I'm just making sure that I'm following my actual hairline. Now, what I'm using in my hand is just a regular paintbrush. It's the end of the paintbrush and this allows for me to get a cleaner look before I have to cut off my bald cap. With this glue, I'm just going to go ahead and follow my entire hairline and let it dry. I do let it dry for about one to two minutes before I start cutting off the lace. And I just continue this process until I get all the way up to where that mark is. And then you're going to see me going with my scissors and I'm just cutting out an ear hole so that way I can finish off the rest of my lace. Now typically I do do this last just because I noticed that my cap would lift up. So I always go in and cut out my ear hole last after I've glued everything else down. Once my cap is fully dried, then I go ahead and start cutting off the actual wig cap itself. And I don't have a particular method for this, I just cut it off. And because I still have to sew down my wig cap itself, I don't cut off the entire thing. You're just gonna see me cut off the front of the wig cap first, and then I'm gonna go in and start sewing down the rest of the wig cap from here. Now, when I sew down my wig caps, I always try and make sure that they are the same exact size as my closure. So whatever size my closure is, that is exactly how much I will sew down on my wig cap itself. Now, once I've finished sewing down my wig cap, you're going to see me go in with the Ruby Kisses RDF 12. This is one of my favorite shades to use. I feel like this color matches my skin really well. So I use this and I typically get this from the beauty supply store. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my entire wig cap. Now you want to make sure you're not using too much. I've noticed that when I started to use too much makeup or foundation on my wig caps, my wigs would get sticky and have a lot of residue on them. If you find that your wigs are often getting cakey or tacky, that probably means that you might be using just a little bit too much product. Um, on your actual wig cap itself now after you add your foundation you want to go ahead and clean up behind yourself and i'm just using a regular pad with water i don't use alcohol just because it breaks my skin out and once i get that cleaned up i'm going to go in with my bold hold lace glue and i'm just applying this exactly to where my hairline is now i do apply this directly in front of my cap i don't really apply it directly to the cap itself now if your lace is lifting like mine used to try applying the glue of in front of the actual wig cap itself and not directly on the wig cap Once you finish adding your glue, then you're gonna go ahead and let that dry. Now, typically I will usually let this air dry, but sometimes I will use the dryer and you just wanna make sure you're letting it dry until it actually turns clear. Dries clear, then I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my lace. Now you wanna make sure you stretch out your lace as far as possible because you can get wrinkles in your actual lace itself. So stretch the lace as far as possible and then you're gonna go ahead and start using a comb to brush it down. Once you finish melting down your lace, you can go ahead and wrap it down. Now I just typically use a pantyhose 
and then once I do that then I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing down my actual lace now you're gonna see me going in and sewing down my actual lace you want to make sure that you are stretching your lace as far as possible because like I said you can get wrinkles in it and your lace will be sitting up so make sure that you stretch out your lace as far as possible when you're sewing it down now once you finish adding in your closure you can go ahead and begin to add your bundles now I did go ahead and sew in my three bundles off camera I was able to go ahead and finish adding in my bundles and this is what we're working with so far so you're gonna go ahead and see me doing my part now for this look we're just gonna be doing a traditional side part nothing fancy and once I feel like my part is how I want it, then you're going to go ahead and see me go in with just a regular edge wax stick. Now, this edge wax stick is from the beauty supply store. I'm not sure of what the actual brand is, but you can use any edge wax stick to go ahead and melt down your hair. And once I finish adding my edge wax, then you're going to go ahead and see me going in with an electric hot comb. And I just use this hot comb at about 400 degrees to go ahead and press out the rest of my hair. If you do use edge wax, just make sure that when you're pressing out your lace, you're being careful because you don't want to mess up the actual lace itself. And I am finally ready to go ahead and start cutting off this lace. So I usually take a pair of scissors and that just allows for me to cut in between the lace before I go in with my actual razor itself. Since the lace itself is glued down already, then you just go in with your edge razor and you should be able to just remove the extra lace because the actual lace itself is already glued down. When I tell you, I love using the actual razor instead of a pair of scissors just because I feel like it gives you such a cleaner look when you actually cut off the lace versus when you use a pair of scissors. I feel like this look is more jagged and it makes so lace look more realistic and once I finished cutting off my lace then it was time for me to go in and do my baby hairs unfortunately my camera did die but I still did do my baby hairs and here are the products that I use and I'm just gonna go in and clean those up just a little bit and whenever I do my baby hairs I, less product is the best so I typically don't use a lot of foam I don't use a lot of gel whenever I'm going in and doing my baby hair now I will go ahead and just play with my baby hairs until I feel like they look exactly how I want them so you'll just see me going in and trying to correct them and so they look exactly how I want finally okay with how my baby hairs look so I went in with my wax stick again I know and I started pressing out my hair again and this is just to make sure that everything is flat I always try and make sure I press out close to where my baby hairs were so that way the look is a lot cleaner to finish off this look I did go ahead and just throw in some curls in my hair felt like that would make the style look a lot better so you're just gonna see me going in and curling my hair Now I did let my curls sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before I started to comb them out. So here I'm just going in with a wide tooth comb and I'm going to go ahead and start brushing out my curls. Not too much, just a little bit. Here is how the hair turned out after combing it out. When I tell y'all, I felt like this look was so classy and neat. And you know I had to give a good close up of the lace too. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.